What if I told you that most of the oxygen you breathe doesn't come from the Amazon rainforest or from the trees outside your window? It comes from the ocean. And it's not just a little bit, it's more than half. This is the hidden truth about the air you breathe. Phytoplankton, microscopic organisms floating in the ocean, produce more than 50% of Earth's oxygen. Some estimates go even higher, up to 80%. We usually picture trees and forests as the lungs of the planet. And yes, they're important, but the real MVPs are invisible and live in the sea. Phytoplankton are single-celled plant-like organisms. Just like trees, they use photosynthesis. They take in sunlight, carbon dioxide, and nutrients, and release oxygen as a byproduct. In fact, these microscopic creatures do the same job as forests, just on a global scale. Every time you take a breath, there's a good chance you're inhaling oxygen created by ocean plankton, not trees, not grass, not jungle, but marine microbes. And they're not working alone. Diatoms, cyanobacteria, and other tiny photosynthesizers play a part too. Together they make up the foundation of the oceanic food chain and the planet's oxygen factory. Here's the problem. We're killing them. Rising ocean temperatures, acidification, plastic pollution, and nutrient runoff from agriculture are all disrupting the delicate balance phytoplankton need to survive. A 2021 study published in Nature Communications showed that global phytoplankton populations may be declining, in some areas, by as much as 40% in the last 50 years. That's not just bad news for fish. It's a threat to the air we breathe. We often think of climate change in terms of polar bears and sea level rise, but it's also about oxygen. Kill the ocean and we slowly kill the air. Phytoplankton don't get headlines. They don't make good photos or political slogans, but without them, life on Earth can't survive. The good news? Ocean recovery is possible. When we reduce carbon emissions, limit overfishing, and protect marine areas, Phytoplankton can bounce back, fast. So next time someone says, save the trees, remember to say, save the sea too. Because your next breath might just depend on it. Subscribe for more real science, environmental truths, and the hidden forces that keep Earth alive.